everyone it's Pamela welcome back thank you so much for watching all of my videos please like this video if you like it please subscribe and of course go to misspamelaxoxo.com to book your one-on-one -on -one reading or hypnotherapy session with me so that I can help you remove the blocks that are preventing you from getting the thing that you want so Mercury in Sagittarius, this was requested, so thank you so much for requesting this. The messenger of the gods, Mercury, this planet of expansion and w always wanting to see the brighter side of the equation, knowledge. So what happens when Mercury is in Sagittarius? People who share this placement are, here are some of the names, Isaac Newton, Beethoven, Marie Curie, Katie Holmes, Jay-Z, Nicki Minaj, Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, Steven Spielberg, Jared Leto. I know that there's more. I just can't think of them right now. And so what does this represent? Well, if you think about those individuals that I mentioned, they really are known for saying things and, might I add, getting away with them, saying things that people may not like, but somehow they come out unscathed because you have this Jupiter luck that in Sagittarius luck that goes into how they speak. Not only that, anyone that has their Mercury in Sagittarius is very gifted about looking at the big picture. Now, why is that significant? Because when you look at the big picture, you engage more people. Very few people care about the nitty gritty details. They want to know what's going to happen, what's the big picture. And when you're not able to do that, which, which not everyone is, some people are very detail oriented, you know, it's easier to get backlash, which is actually one of the reasons why individuals that have Virgo placements can get that a little bit, that the devil's advocate thing, because whenever you're pointing out details, that's bound to happen, and they are very detail-oriented. Anyways, back to Sagittarius. So these people love the big picture. They live to learn. They live to communicate about... or or bring awareness to spirituality, religion, or higher ideas. A lot of these people might either stay in school for a long time or continue studying whatever it is that interests them for a long time. Especially, you know, it used to be that that was the way that they'd stay in school a long time, but also now a lot of these people are breaking out of that mold, I would say, and following what they truly believe in. You know, these people are very intuitive and they communicate that very well and they really trust their intuition despite other people saying that they're insane. I mean, I know that a f quite a few of the people that I mentioned, very nasty things have been said about them in the realm of sanity. And, I, and with that being said, they still created, they still gave the world these beautiful things that seem like they were from being communicated from another dimension, if you will, or a, or a higher place, another place. These people also are only interested in discussing what is true. They don't remotely have time to talk about the birds and the bees or anything that they think is not true. You know, watch out, because anyone with their, their Mer Mercury and Sagittarius takes with them the precision of a Scorpio. And they're able to not only have that, also the intellect of the higher education and that higher mind. So they kind of hit you from both sides, where a Scorpio might say something to bring you down to the depths, a Sagittarius person, or forgive me, someone with a Mercury and Sagittarius, will kind of play ping pong with you with their words, with the way that they think or the way that they make you think. So someone with their Mercury and Sagittarius definitely flies 
under the radar in this capacity. And I would definitely say that this is a sneaky little placement that you would want to look at. These individuals are very, very compatible with others that also speak the same way. Maybe even someone with their Mercury in Pisces, Aquarius, for example, possibly Scorpio as well. Um, maybe even Gemini, they are opposite signs, so that's really going to depend on the two individuals. They really love someone who compliments them. When they believe in something, they believe in it so ferociously that how dare you say that what they say isn't right. And in fact, that will just motivate them more and more and more and more. They are very easygoing in their thinking, very relaxed, relaxed. However, when they have an opinion, when it's something they really believe in, God help you. Because they actually believe, they think that they have God on their side or whatever their belief system is because it's connected to the realms of spirituality. And if it's not God and they're more connected to the realms of education, you know, that educated person is on their side. They know, therefore I know. It's just like they say in the Bible, my people perish with a without knowledge, right? With a lack of knowledge, my people perish. And that is so true to any person that has their Mercury in Sagittarius. They believe that with knowledge, you will thrive. With knowledge, you can do anything. Once you know something, you can do it. Once you think something, you can have it, do it, see it, feel it, smell it. And this is the secret that they know that not everybody else knows yet. Maybe you do. I don't know. So anyways, do you have your Mercury in Sagittarius? Or do you have a crush on someone with a Mercury in Sagittarius? What do you think about all this? Let me know. You know I love you. Whether it's day or night, I love you, I love you, I love you. Please click here to subscribe to my channel. Please click here to watch my most recent video. And please click here to go to my website and I am excited to meet you. Thank you so much. Thank you.